Sports fans, diehards, and of course, bandwagon jumpers. Welcome to the second official episode of the Tyndall Sports and Entertainment Network and TyndallStateOfMind.com's video blog. This is the second round of my playoff predictions. Um, I'm going to start off first with the San Antonio Spurs and the Golden State Warriors. Uh, the Warriors were a team that two years ago when they hired Mark Jackson, I said that this team would be a great team. I gave them three years to make the playoffs. They did it in their second year. I also said that once they got a big man, which they got in Andrew Bogut, that they would be a force to be reckoned with. But I didn't think that it would be so soon. And I slept on the team that I picked to be a sleeper team and a team that I picked to be a great team once again in the first round. I thought that Denver would oust them in the first round, but they didn't. Golden State proved a lot of doubters wrong. Um, I wouldn't call myself a doubter. I just thought that Denver was the better team, but hey, they proved me wrong. But against San Antonio, I think their run is going to come to a halt. Uh, I believe that San Antonio is going to contain Stephen Curry for the most part. You can't stop him, but I believe that San Antonio will and can, can and will contain Stephen Curry. And I believe that San Antonio, with being well rested uh, after that sweep of the Lakers and being able to game plan, uh, for the Warriors and uh, also all those older guys getting all that rest. That's going to mean a lot for San Antonio. I believe they're going to win the first two in San Antonio, of course. And then they'll take one in Golden State. I believe that Golden State will get a home victory. This is a great team at home. Great coach in Mark Jackson. I'm a huge Mark Jackson fan. That's why I, I picked them to be good in the years to come in the first place. But I believe that their run is going to come to a halt against San Antonio in five games. Uh, I don't see it going anywhere past five. I don't see them beating San Antonio in San Antonio, but I will give them one victory in Golden State. Next up, we have the matchup out east between the two-seeded New York Knicks and the three-seeded Indiana Pacers. This series is going to be similar to the Boston Celtics New York Knicks series because Indiana struggles to score at times, but they're a great defensive team, just as Boston was. Uh, Indiana is also well coached, and these guys fight. But in order for them to beat the New York Knicks, uh, Paul George... George Hill, uh, David West, Roy Hibbert, all of those guys are going to have to step up collectively in an effort offensively. We already know they're going to bring it defensively, but offensively, can they score enough to beat the Knicks in a seven-game series? I don't think so. I believe that the Knicks are going to come into this series focused on what they want to do, and that is beat the Indiana Pacers and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. A lot of people will say, how can you be so confident in the Knicks after letting Boston come back in that series. Well, Boston is a great team, a veteran team, a team that was not going to go down easily. And I, I believe that that worked out to the Knicks' benefit, them losing those two games and having their backs against the wall. Now they'll be more prepared for when situations arise against maybe uh, Indiana or possibly down the line against a Miami team. But uh, the New York Knicks, in order for them to win this series, which I think they will win this series in six games, Maybe, maybe possibly five, possibly five games. It's hard for me to choose between five and six because New, it's not Indiana, it's New York. Sometimes New York offense stalls. Sometimes they get into those isolation plays instead of running, moving the ball around, pick and roll, those things. It's all about what NY team is going to show up on a night-to-night -night basis. I do believe that NY will win both of their first two games at home. Whether they're going to beat Indiana in both of those games or one of those games is is up to New York solely, not Indiana. I believe that if Indiana plays their best and New York plays their best, New York will win each game. But it's all about which team is going to show up for the New York Knicks. Um, I believe that Carmelo Anthony, J.R. Smith, and all of those guys will step up. But the key to winning the series for New York is going to be the play of Raymond Felton, Prigioni, Jason Kidd, and those guys. J.R. Smith, he's a sporadic player. He's going to have ups and downs. He's going to have some off nights. He's going to have some great nights. We already know that about J.R., so it's not him. It's those guards. Ken Jason Kidd, Pablo Prigioni, uh, Raymond Felton, and of course, Amon Shumper. Can those guys step up? Amon Shumper was a huge factor in the Knicks' victory versus, versus Boston in Game 6, and he's going to play a huge factor throughout the playoffs for the Knicks if he can remain healthy. And those are going to be the keys for the Knicks to win this series. And I believe that the Knicks win, will win this series in five, maybe six. Next up, we have the Memphis Grizzlies versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, these are two teams that <laughs> they're going to play rough and tough against each other. Kind of like we've seen with the Los Angeles Clippers and Memphis Grizzlies series. Whenever the Grizzlies are a part of a series, it's rough and tough. That's the type of mentality that the Grizzlies have. And without Westbrook, the Thunder will struggle Offensively, I believe that they would have rather played the Los Angeles Clippers, who would play more of an up and down type of game, which 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 the Thunder are accustomed to. Um, but 
Memphis is going to slow the game down. They're going to bang down low with Randolph and Gasol, and that's going to cause problems for the Oklahoma City Thunder, who will struggle to score against this Memphis defense with Tony Allen and Tayshaun Prince anchoring the way. And, and of course, the defensive player of the year, Mark Gasol. Um, I believe that Memphis will not struggle mightily at all in this series. I believe that they will win this series in five or six same as the New York Knicks and Pacers series. It's depend, it depends on what, what Grizzlies team will show up. I don't believe the Grizzlies will lose a game at home in this series. I think that they'll take care of Oklahoma City. In one of those games in OKC, I, the question is for Oklahoma City, where will they find scoring? Who's going to step up and score other than Russell Westbrook? Of course, Kevin Martin stepped up in the Game 6 win against the Houston Rockets, but can he do that consistently? That's the question. Cephalosha, Derek Fisher. Uh, Reggie Jackson, Ibaka, what, what will those guys do? Can those guys step up and score consistently for the Thunder to have a chance? Because that's the only way they're going to have a shot against the Memphis Grizzlies. The Memphis Grizzlies are a team that I picked to make the Western Conference Finals versus the San Antonio Spurs preseason. If you go check out one of the Tindles, one of the Tindles Sports and Entertainment, Tindall and Broly episodes, uh, the preseason picks, I picked the Memphis Grizzlies to play the San Antonio Spurs preseason in the Western Conference Finals. Of course, I picked Memphis to lose in seven to Los Angeles Clippers, but that was just one of those series where I felt like the Clippers having home court advantage will win a home game in Game 7, but they never made it to the Game 7. So I believe that Memphis will beat Oklahoma City in five, maybe six, but only because of the lack of Russell Westbrook. If they had Russell Westbrook in this series, this would be a totally different series, but I just don't know where they're going to find a scoring against a great defensive team in Memphis. And Memphis is going to bang down low Gasol and Randolph, I don't, I don't know if the, what well, the Thunder have Ibaka and Perkins, but that's going to be a lot for those two guys to handle. And these two great players, and of course Mike Conley and Jared Bayless, and those guys have been shooting well from the perimeter. Tayshaun Prince, all those guys have been stepping up. I think that's going to be a lot for the Thunder to hand, for the Thunder to handle, especially with, without having Westbrook. And I believe that the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies will win this series and advance to the Western Conference Finals to go on to play the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, last but certainly least, we have the Miami Heat versus either the Brooklyn Nets or the Chicago Bulls. And yes, I say either or because they have not played yet. And the reason why I decided to do this blog before they actually play, because it does not matter which team wins between Brooklyn and Chicago, because either team will lose in five games at the most, in my opinion. Each team has a possibility of getting sweep swept by the Miami Heat. This team is rolling right now. They're playing great. They had a 27-game win streak. They won, what, 40 out of the last 42 games. Uh, Chicago or Brooklyn is not going to stand in this team's way. I believe that either team that they play, they will dominate. They will knock down shots. And they'll play great defense. And either team isn't healthy enough to compete with the Miami Heat. You got, you got Brooklyn with those injuries and, of course, Chicago with those injuries. This series that they played has been called by some the hospital matchup because so many guys have been injured throughout every game of the series. And it's hard enough to beat Miami when you are healthy, but when you're unhealthy, it's almost impossible to beat the Miami Heat. So, with that being said, I believe that the Heat will beat either Brooklyn or Chicago. Even though I picked Brooklyn to beat Chicago in Game 7, they will beat either one of those guys in five games at most. And folks, that's going to do it for the second official blog by myself, Cameron Tyndall, on behalf of Tyndall Sports and Entertainment Network and TyndallStateOfMind.com. Enjoy the second round of the playoffs.